Coach, how's, uh, how's preparations going so far? Overall? Good. Good. A lot of good practices. Getting got a lot of good work in, so we're getting ready. What's Garrett's uh, situation right now? I don't know. We've got a, we've got a trainer you can ask him. I haven't seen him out here at practice, so I could yeah. not tell you. Uh, Coach Burry told us yesterday he thought that maybe Garrett might be able to practice once you guys get to Atlanta. Is that your understanding of the situation right now? I have no idea. When he shows up out here, I'll coach him. Okay. And until then, I really don't know. Okay. I'm telling you, I don't know when he'll be back. How have you guys progressed this season? What's that? How have you guys progressed this season? Uh, pretty good. You know, they've done okay. Uh, we got good backs and good wide receivers. A good quarterback makes us look a lot better than we probably are. But they've done okay. Not bad. Is Darrell playing guard then with Garrett's position right now? Darrell King? He's working at some guard. I wouldn't say he's playing it right now. I mean, he's got ability to maybe come in there at the ball game and play left guard. Who, if, if Jerry can't play, who's going to do? Else is going to compete for that. For that it's a process of elimination. We only got one other guy we can play. Who is that? <laughs> Who is uh, it? Terrence Campbell. There you go. That's right. So that's it. That's yeah. all I got. Okay. So Terrence is working there right now, primarily as the, uh, I guess you could say the first team rep guy. But yeah. Jarrell's been working in yeah. there, both the left tackle and left guard. So I'm sure once the game's done, you're going to pray that no one gets injured. I pray, I pray like that every <laughs> night, but, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Have you seen these guys respond to your energy, your pregame stuff, and they've talked about it in the locker room, you're a high energy guy. Have you seen I mean, I don't know. Uh, we've won nine ball games. We've had a pretty successful year. We've uh, ran the ball pretty decent at times. Uh, we've improved. I don't know if it's me or just them being a year older or not, but uh, – who knows? I can't tell you. Has that always been your style, or did you come in and sense a group that maybe needs a little confidence, maybe needs no, a cheerleader um, to some degree? I've always been like that, and it's, it's just the way things happen with me. Uh, I love that. I think you go in with a uh, – it's got to be a fun atmosphere and a fun ball game, and, and, and I like juicing up a little bit of pregame so, to get after it. So it's, it's always been my style. That, that thing you do, I don't know if you guys have a name for it, in pregame where you just it's called pre-game. beat them up. And it's they, pregame. It's always been like that. <laughs> it's always been like that. Now they're just a little bit bigger. Have <laughs> you, you ever suffered any injuries? I mean, have you ever? Have you ever? Oh, I, the list is too long. Let me tell you. <laughs> this season? No, not this season. Not this season. When these guys start fighting me back, then, then maybe how get the, some injuries. How, the, how the place adapted to the uh, the inside zone that the scheme that you brought with you? I think, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, it, it's our play. You know, something we hang our hat on. Uh, we run it enough. Uh, by no means are we great at it, but. Uh, you know, I think we're, we're, we're making progress, moving in the right direction. Right Whether it's out of the gun or underneath, it's still the same same concept for these guys. So they, they get a lot of work yeah. at it. Wow. I think Garrett told us a couple weeks ago that one of the goals the offensive line set before here was to have a 1,000-yard rusher and for the Marcus to win the Heisman Trophy. Also, also they met one of those goals. Well, I don't know if the Heisman Trophy is something we, we, we <laughs> joked, around, joked about earlier. I think I think we uh, had somebody yeah. reading the media that Marcus, you know, if he has a great year or something, we all laughed yeah. about it. We say, well, you know, we'll throw that That's out. That's a mention. But uh, it, it wasn't just Mark, it was any of our backs. Right. We won a thousand yard rush, I think, the first time, or the last time they'd had that done was what, 2000. 2000. 2000. So yeah. here we are in 2010, yeah. and we, we accomplished that as an offense, as a, as, a, as a group. The defense helped us out getting the ball back. but. Uh, Pretty proud of that, but we got a great running back, and, and those other guys are good running backs too. They, they really do a good job for us. I guess now that he's signed, um, because you can talk about him, let's talk about this kid from Georgia Military who signed yesterday, Caleb Broom. What, what are your thoughts on him? Well, Caleb Broom's a, a guy that can come in here, and uh, he's a big athletic guy. You know, he's 6'6, six, six, he's about 320 right now. He's athletic, can move. Uh, the, the one thing that I really like about him is his energy. He wants to be here at the University of South Carolina. Yeah. And, I think that's an important thing in recruiting. You go get guys that want to be here. I didn't have to persuade him to come here. I didn't have to do anything else. When I saw how athletic he was and I knew that we would want to take him, and he was fired up to be a Gamecock, and that's important. You know, and it means something to you to be a South Carolina kid or a South Carolina yeah. man that wants to come play for the University of South Carolina, they're going to lay it on the line every day. I mean, when they, when they step on here, they know exactly what they're playing for in this state. So. Sounds like with the, with the numbers you have, that uh, he might can come in and probably compete for a starting job right away. <laughs> I think yeah, everybody I can, Alan. Yeah. Can they? Yeah. If you make it a spring practice, yeah. yeah. you can get out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that. We have to work on your feet. But, <laughs> but I'm serious. <laughs> and he's going to get in there and get work right away. So that's what we want. That's exactly what we want. It's good. Coach, what, what does Jarrell do well at guard? Does he do, do anything particularly well, or is he just there because he's another another body? He's there because he's another body. I mean, he's an athletic guy, bigger, yeah. bigger guy, good feet inside. So, uh, you know, he's just been there just a few days. He played there a little bit last year, but he doesn't understand the position right now like he should. Uh, 
So uh, he's just got to get better here in the next four or five practices to see where he ends up. So. I think he's played there a little bit before under under previous coaches. Though. Has, has he retained anything, or is it completely different? I mean, I don't know what they taught him at guard, so I can tell you, but not much. Doesn't look, it doesn't look like he's, he's he's got much guard in him. I mean, he's a guard if he, if he plays it, but you, <laughs> you just can't jump in there and be, be that position. I mean, you've got to work at it. you got to study it. It's, it's a little bit different playing tackle to guard. I mean, it's just totally different. How about TJ's transition to center? I know back in the spring he was having trouble with the shotgun snap. but looked like he's been a lot better on that, even early in the season. Struggling with a little bit. I mean, you know, TJ's about 98% on his staff, so yes, which is yeah. pretty good, you know, yeah. considering he's got a 320 pound nose guard light up against him. We want the snaps perfect, but he's coming yeah. along and he's done a good job, and that's, that's a tough transition for anybody that's never put the ball in their hand. So he's done a good job.